find the best part of oh 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 man prisms have you shot with prisms yet if not you need to take a look at them they come in all different types of shapes and sizes and what's cool is they give you a very unique and sometimes very expensive look. A lot of people do this and no one knows how they get those effects. I'm gonna show you how to do that today with a couple different ones. So we're gonna use the Area Alexa Mini with Cook lenses. Let's see what they look like on that setup. So we walked in closer to the sun so that I can get a little bit more of refraction from the actual sunlight. What's cool about it is that if you see me just pointing straight into the lens now, you can get some flares even with it. So that's what's cool about being in the sun and being able to refract. Oh look, I'm cinematic, I shoot in 60. If you see on the top of the, of, of the frame, you see a little bit of the refraction, how it's splitting those colors. Looks like a rainbow there. If you see the different rainbow colors that hit here, that's essentially what it's doing into your screen. And here I'm holding up a different prism. This is more like a water droplet. And as you can see, it will just refract all the way through and get that really cool effect. Uh, I can focus in. Now, everything I'm doing here is more handheld, meaning that I'm hand holding the prism. But later, I'm going to show you a way to be able to mount this for a very, very cheap way. And so this is the triangular prism, like the pyramid, right? You can see a little bit of the effects there running through. If you also want to do like a handheld type thing where you get like some kind of grip that you have, a spatula, whatever, and you want to mount it this way, there's a very easy way to do that. You can get one of these pins, which you probably have a ton of sitting around everywhere, and you would get something called Loctite. There's all different types of colors of this, and the way you do it is you ultimately just take it like this and you start molding that Loctite all the way around. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Two hours later. So now, even though this looks a little bit funny, uh, you know, it's something that if you need to use it, ain't nobody got to know, right? So just put it together. And what's really cool about this is that you can get a handheld setup. So a lot of people ask me, why don't you see a lot of prism stuff in my videos? Well, I really don't like prisms. That's the reality of it. I think they're cumbersome. They do one little effect and most of my effects, I like doing them in post. Now, I don't think you shouldn't use them, you definitely should. The one thing that I didn't like personally was that when I saw a lot of people using these, I started asking them how much did they pay. Once I saw that, I decided, hey, let me do these quick tips and show you where you can get these cheaper. So the reason why I show you all these things is because you can buy one of these, look it up online. You can buy it for about 15 to $20, different sizes. This one's actually bigger than most of the ones I've seen online. This one as well, you can get unique ones and different ones that currently aren't, uh, aren't provided. Now, I'm not saying not to buy the ones from those manufacturers. Actually, some of the stuff they do, like actually uh, drilling a bit and being able to allow it to securely mount is a very, very good way. So I'm gonna put a couple links below so you can check out these that I currently have. Now, if you wanna try the higher end ones, I say you go ahead and try them. And hey, higher end manufacturing company that does these things, if you wanna send me some so I can try them versus these, you know what's up. Don't forget, if you want to try prisms, try them out. Try the cheaper ones or don't, or buy the expensive ones or don't. If you don't subscribe, well, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to hire you to do a wedding, and you're going to get paid an exposure bucks. Uh, this is Orlando with Filmatic, and we'll see you later.